Okay, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use um, Cinema 4D um, to create a composite with 2D JPEG background and 3D objects to create Cinema 4D. So let's get started. The first thing you need to um, have a you just create a new file. So the first thing you need to have a background objects. So go back to the toolbar and you select and hold the right icon and you can see that here is a background icon. Just slide it to add the background objects and um, you need to have a material that hold the background image. So go to the material, click files, new material and then um, you have a new material, double click the material to go to the material editor. Rename it to background okay and um, I don't want a speckler okay so just disable the speckler channel select the color channels and import the image you would like to use as the background okay so you can click the I button here and start of any of the JPEGs um, or Photoshop file you would like to have the background that's okay click open so um, cinema 40 asks you to copy the Nova 40 click yes and that's it okay so this is the background so just close it and you need to apply it to the background so just drag the background to the background objects so you can see that the images we show it on the viewport so the next thing is you need to have a camera that is used to match the perspective of your background images so go to the um, light icon again and select camera and um, you need to use the camera so you can choose cameras and camera and the camera you created okay so you can see that i'm currently using the camera as this viewport so the next thing is you need to align okay the grid line to the perspective of your um, background okay so um the most least way is you rotate the camera but if you rotate the camera without anything um, sometimes it's very hard to do a very subtle adjustment so the best option is you add a primitive you can add a sphere or you can add a clip and um, when this primitive is added you rotate the camera you can see the camera will be using that primitive or that object is the origin okay so it's more easily for you to um, align the camera with your um, JPEG image okay so here I just need to okay just align it okay so the good thing here you can see that I have the, um, the structure here you, you the best thing is you need to align the grid of your world to the perspective of your to the image okay so is don't need to do a precise adjustment a roughly adjustment that um, you can see here is more than enough okay so the next thing is after you align the camera okay you can fix or you can lock this camera so you won't um, be as they move the camera after the camera is fixed okay so the easy way is you select the camera right kick cinema 40 tag and you can see here have the protection okay just add a protection tag to the camera so after the camera has a protection tag you can't drag or you can't rotate the camera anymore because it's locked okay so that's better because I don't want the cameras to move so the next thing is you need to put the objects here okay so I just delete this and um, I add the torus okay so very simple objects okay and um, the important thing is you need to create a plan okay a flat area um, this will be used to uh, receive the shadow of this object okay so I just go to the primitive again and create a plan okay so you can see that here's the plan and maybe the size is too small you need to make it a little bit bigger okay until the whole objects um, 
is bigger than the objects you put here okay or can make it even bigger okay so just move it a little bit okay so and um, okay I just make the tourist a little bit higher okay just about the ground okay so that's okay so the next thing is you need to apply the same image to the plan okay so so that the plan won't we have the order color of the images um, of your background so you just need to copy this material tab to the plan okay so the, the faster way is you hold on control key and you drag this material tab to the plan object okay so you can see you just duplicate the material tab okay so next is um, if you do a uh, render or you do a test render okay you can see that um, you have this image this is not um, not perfect but um, it's um, already have the color of your images here but you can see that um, the area is too dark um, the lighting is not good and you don't have a shadow of that okay so next step is you fix uh, this darkened area okay the simple way is you need to uh, merge of this color to the background okay so in number 40 you need to add one more tag to do this dots select the plan right click set number 40 and you select the combo seating tab okay the combo seating tab has an option called combo seating background okay so this is very is used to merge okay the color of your backgrounds to the material okay if you do a test render again you can see that i won't see the plan again because it really merged to the background so the next is you need to add shadows and you also need to change the lighting so by default so all the lighting is using the auto light you don't need using auto light because it's not you know, uh, some things um, to 3d generate images i want to using um, a sky and um, an hdr images the lighting okay so i create a sky create a sky here all right so you will see that a sky at the back and create new material this is we use for the hdr image new material double click changes the dynamic sky and this time I want it to using as the light so I need to enable the luminance channel and I don't want it color I don't want spec cooler I just want luminance so just make sure you select the luminance channel so select the luminance channels and import an HDR image okay so this HDR image is prepared um, for that lighting okay so that's perfect close that drag the sky to the sky objects to apply it okay so you can see that now the sky will have this image um, and this we're using to generate the light source and you don't need to using auto light again so you go back to the red setting option disable to auto light so um, but um, you can see the sky will um, block the background okay so what you are going to do is you just need to use the sky as a light source but I don't want to see it at the camera okay so you can using the combo seating tab again just right click the sky cinema 40 tab combo seating again okay so this time I need to do some setting for combo seating tab slap go to the attribute disable all the shadows I don't want the shadows and I don't want to see it by camera so you just disable the camera okay so you get back the background you just need it for the rays and GI okay so the GI is for lighting rays for reflection the reflections um, and for the other thing you can see AO reflection reflection is for the rays so this is for the base setup and um, the last thing is I need to enable the two options so that I can render 
and we get the lighting and the shadow. So go to the render setting again, enable global illumination and ambient occlusion. Okay, just enable this and this. Okay, so that's it. So you do a simple rendering. Okay, you can see that I'm already using the lighting of your HDR images and the shadow is created by ambient occlusion. Okay, so this is a basic um, setup that we can do a 2D image with the 3D objects in Cinema 4D.